Who needs an iPhone wallet case when you can have a wallet that holds your iPhone? This is the new Bellroy's All Conditions phone pocket that apparently can take on Mother Nature. Let's check it out. This is the All Conditions phone pocket, which in other terms is a wallet. Yeah, a wallet. But hear me out if the title of the product hasn't already given it away. This is the woven fabric model, but it also comes in an all leather option. But in summary, this feels like a pair of Levi jeans. You know, the good stuff. Wrapped around half the wallet is a semi-sealed YKK zipper with a sturdy zipper tab reinforced with heat shrink tubing, which is designed to help people with really big hands or, you know, people wearing gloves. There's some clean stitch detailing around the edges and a leather accent on the spine. Now I know what you're thinking, it's big. And well, you're right. To put it in perspective, it's a size of three credit cards stacked on top of each other, but there is a smaller option which you can check out in the links below. So how is that space used? Well, to be honest, very simply. The inside is lined in a microfiber on one side and there's two pockets on the other side which is made of what feels like a thin but strong ripstop nylon. The front pocket starts at the bottom which gives it some depth and the top pocket starts about halfway so your contents won't stack on top of each other. But that's it and I'd say that's the beauty of it. You're paying for a sturdy wallet and the rest is up to you. So here's my everyday carry. Three to five cards, some bills, some change, a house key, receipts, band-aids because safety first, coupons that I'll never actually fully collect, a pocket tripod, and lastly, my iPhone 6S Plus in my go-to case, the Autobox Symmetry case, all of which fits nicely into the phone pocket with a little snuggle room. The phone pocket is, well, designed to hold a phone, and the Symmetry case is quite a wide case, but still fits in if properly inserted, so you're probably safe from most other cases. Bowery does nice the top pocket to be used as a coin pouch, which at first, I was worried about coins sliding out and scratch my iPhone screen, but after some rigorous testing, turns out it holds it all in no matter what direction you shake it. When you do want to remove them, simply squeeze and let them slide out. And although you may be tempted to allow your iPhone screen to enjoy the luxury of microfiber, note that the material is thin and facing it that way will leave the screen vulnerable to impact, so I definitely recommend the other way around. And lastly, this pocket, which spans about three quarters of the wallet, it's designed to allow you to hold anything really. I can store my cash, cards, and other random documents, or without the iPhone, I can split that up and store larger items inside the main compartment. But really, the choice is yours. Now that's my everyday carry, but what about other situations like travel? Generally, I'll step down on cards and Canadian cash, and I'll fit my Canadian passport, boarding passes, a map just in case, and really just about anything relatively flat and have it all in one place. But don't forget the other half of the name. It's designed to handle all conditions, so let's put it to the test. It's passed our soak test and keeps the inside dry. The wallet will protect against light bumps, but is not meant to be a protective case for your iPhone, so I do recommend having a case on as well. A little abuse doesn't affect the fabric and does a good job keeping its shape. But our second soak test is a reminder that the wallet is just splash proof, not waterproof, so don't go swimming with this. Now you can imagine carrying this can be quite a nuisance, but by no means is this considered a minimal wallet, nor does it try to be. But because it's so big, you may find it difficult, almost annoying to use it as a day-to-day -day wallet. It'll fit into pants pocket, but it's generally uncomfortable sitting down and walking. The back pocket is a good candidate, but if you were to forget it's there and your fat ass sat on it, then there goes your iPhone screen. The summer is even worse, as all you want to do is wear nothing, so you end up just holding this in your hand. Which is why I consider this more of a seasonal wallet, great for adventures or when it's cooler and you have a jacket on. Or if you just always have a bag on you, either commuting to work or during a hike, then that's really when the all conditioned nature of the wallet shines the best. It's a wallet designed for storage, not for quick access. The fabric version retails for about $100 and the pure leather retails for about $130. It comes in a few different colors and you can check it all in the links below or to the right of my head. Now you can argue that it's a really simple wallet and at over $100, you're really paying for the craftsmanship and the design details that go into it. Yes, it's a big wallet for day-to-day -day usage, but if you can get past the size of it, the all conditions phone pocket can accommodate most of your wallet needs. Now, if you don't plan on carrying your iPhone in your wallet, you may want to consider the All Conditions wallet version designed to also take quite a beating, but in a smaller package. That's it. If you like what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, head over to our Patreon and enter our monthly giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my wallet?